So just going to go into a little bit more detail on how to find a good, um, I guess, a good photo for your uh, your product. So uh, in the last lesson we showed you how to set an image, how to upload it, but um, you want to make sure that you have a, a good quality photo. So there's a few different uh, options. Um, obviously, the easiest one is just to go to uh, the Amazon page and save that photo. Um, sometimes it's not the best quality photo, so there are uh, other options in that case. Um, you could just uh, Google search for it. So um, uh, I'll just copy paste this model number into Google and go to images and just look for one with a, a higher size. Something at least 600 pixels wide is probably good enough. This one here looks pretty good. So we'll go to view image, save image as, and save it somewhere we'll, where you'll remember it. And then we just go back to our post page within WordPress, go to set featured image. Um, here's the picture we had uploaded previously, but if we want to up and open it and make sure it's saved. Um, it's also important that in the, that the title be nice and clean because, um, especially when you're trying to rank in Google searches, uh, Google will find uh, your page based on the, the text, um, in the HTML for the photo. So, um, not too important to understand how that works, but it is important to realize that you should have the, the brand name and the model code, um, in the title. So I'm just going to paste that in there and we like to duplicate that same verbiage into the alt text as well. Hit set featured image, and now we've got a nice clean picture for our, our product. Um, it's really important that you have a nice photo uh, on your on your posts. Um, that, that's the first thing that customers see, um, and, and you wanna make sure that it looks good. Uh, now I just to go into a little more detail on the product description. Um, oftentimes you can just paraphrase what came from uh, the Amazon page directly. Or um, you can always go to other uh, other blogs, um, other uh, other sellers. Uh, Best Buy, for example, would be a good one, and just kind of read what people have to say there. Um, that's also very helpful uh, to find new ideas for for the review section and the rating section. Um, you can kind of look through other people's reviews and see what people like, see what they don't like, and uh, that'll kind of give you some direction as to what you should be setting under. Uh, you know, you know, for power, noise, whatever, it'll kind of give you some ideas. Um, yeah, that's basically, uh, basically it for making a post.